Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the term which is called uh, sonicator or sonication, ultrasonication, ultrasonicator. So we have the word that is called sonication. Sonication is a process. It refers to the process of applying the sound energy to agitate particles or <coughs> some kind of non-continuous fibers in a liquid and the term ultrasonic frequencies is uh, refers to the uh, the frequencies that are greater than 20 kilohertz and the process uh, in which these frequencies are applied is called ultrasonication sonication can be conducted using either ultrasonic bath or ultrasonic probe when we say ultrasonic probe we can also call as sonicator in the laboratory usually uh, it is applied using an ultrasonic bath or an ultrasonic probe both of them are called as a sonicator. Now, in case of ultrasonication, the, there is an irradiation of a liquid sample with ultrasonic uh, frequency greater than 20 kilohertz, which will result in agitation. And sound waves will propagate into the liquid media, resulting in an uh, alternating high pressure and uh, low pressure that is called rarefraction. When it is a uh, high pressure, it's called compression. So an ultrasonic, uh, sometimes also known as ultrasonic homogenizer or a sonicator, uh, which involves inserting a probe or we call a horn into a sample and the probe uh, vibrates rapidly, thereby transferring the ultrasonic energy to the sample. And sonication is called the applying of sound energy, as I told you earlier, to agitate the sample that will help in breaking of the cells. And the sometimes you also call it as a probe sonicator. So probe sonicator, you will use a probe. And other names of sonicators are ultrasonic processors, ultrasonic ultrasonic sonicator, cell disruptor, or ultrasonic homogenizer or a sonifier. It is applied in the production of nanoparticles, nanocrystals, oil extraction, separation, segregation, cell disruption, and also in certain kind of biological applications like uh, sonoporation or uh, DNA, the fragmentation of the small molecules of DNA. And the there are uh, different parts of the sonicator. We have the generator. The generator will be, it is a kind of ultrasonic electric generator that will convert alternating current into the high frequency electrical energy. The converter, the converter will convert the high voltage pulses of energy at a frequency of 20 kilohertz, which power a piezoelectric converter. And then we have a probe. So a probe basically the vibration will be amplified as well as transmitted down the probe length and probes have threaded ends that connect to the converter. So during the operation the probes tip expands and contracts longitudinally and uh, there are different kind of sonication methods. The first one is direct sonication. Okay. In direct sonication the most commonly used method, uh, this is the most commonly used method where we insert a probe directly into the sample vessel but we have to make sure this the probe should not touch the bottom of the vessel which we are using and the probe sonicator delivers high intensity energy explicitly into the sample allowing it to be processed quickly okay, and the radius of the probe tip determines the liquid volume that may be processed effectively. Now there is indirect sonication method and indirect sonication method does not require your sample to be in contact with the probe. This technique is frequently made reference as a high intensity electron ultrasonic bath. The ultrasonic energy is transmitted to the from the horn to a vessel or numerous sample tubes via the water. So it is a case of ultrasonic bath. Now in our laboratory, we will basically see uh, different kind of probes that are being used for uh, homogenization. We have uh, standard probes that is of half inch, three by four inch or one inch and they can be replaceable. The tips can be replaceable if they are weared out or teared out, torn or not working. And uh, usually we also have micro tip probes which are half inches. The screw into the threaded end of standard half inch probe. So they can be replaced and shortly we will see how we use these, I mean sonicators or ultrasonicators. So this is one uh, sonicator without probe. First of all, we have to switch on. So this is already connected. So the power, you can see the power button is at the back. Now this is on. And also we have to add uh, here distilled water or deionized water or ultra pure water. 
which will have resistivity of 18 mega ohms now also make sure this is the operating level you can see here now this speaker is very small so i'm putting the water till here if i put here it would above the level okay now these are the parameters you can play here you have to switch on switch off this is a switch on this is the heating mode degas sonic degas and this is auto mode and this is functions okay you can change the parameter up down to, and also now how many minutes you want and this one now this is the heating mode okay, i will start heating degassing and auto we would start to switch Well, as you can see here this is ultrasonicator with probe you can see the probe here okay, this is not a micro probe now also if you have to see here uh, the titan the converter using a wrench an application require air cooling now this is my start window now it says are you sure you are using to are using a micro tip said no and then these are a lot of options to operate manually press here to select or modify press here there are a lot of options suppose i'm clicking here so i can just operate manually i'll just start and then i can change everything okay i i can just change the amplitude and the time elapse will be here now it's zero no for now putting the probe down this is now probe is up so we have to dip the probe partially and make sure the probe is not touching like this not to the down surface and also make sure we don't add a corrosive liquid or something that could release vapors or fumes well in that case if you are using that kind of liquid we have to use this whole device or set up in the fume hood now we will stop and you can see uh, and power stop here and then exit and then we will go to the other options so there are a lot of options select or modify a program we can modify it so we can change the amplitude let's suppose we don't want to do a 20 and what is the time suppose we are we want to do at 11 minutes 11 seconds pulse on pulse off we already saw the, these kind of settings in our the, the, our old videos in, in case when i was preparing ldh later by the hydroxides so pulse on pulse off now we'll come out and say save and then run and then we can start now we'll go out of this and then we can this is also you can play here how much exit this one then there are other options what you want temperature to be celsius or fahrenheit foot foot switch operation what you want these are different kind of option you can play and usually the probe is connected from the back you can see and also it's written that touch screen for optimum performance use the provided stylus recommended as per in the equipment manual you can see here the probe is connected from here and this is the point and this one is for the power button so automatically we can switch on off from here usually doing that we will exit this one now we are out so we can close the probes are well cleaned after ultrasonication and also it needs to be covered in order to be protected